hello this is Frida welcome to my channel I posted uh, how to crochet this uh, blanket and then uh, while I was crocheting ding another thing came up to my mind okay so I thought to myself okay I did show how to crochet um, the shawl remember I did uh, the, the day before I showed you how to crochet this from here right to make a shawl and then you go on and go on and uh, until the length you want so I said to myself what if uh, I want to try it from the bottom and then I saw this automatically I saw this <laughs> can you see it start from here and then you increase and then you create a shawl and then you go this way and then let's say if you want to turn that to a blanket you do the decrease and I do have a tutorial on how to do that uh, how to do de uh, to do decreases and then it becomes corner to corner so let's get started on how to do it it just I just thought about this and I thought to myself I need to share this with my subscribers so what I did is I went to my stash automatically Ha! Huh, another thing oh my goodness I went to Walmart to return some yarn that I had bought extra extra I bought I always buy more just in case if I need I would always use it up she said no I went to customer service they said no we don't accept returns I said even yarn well she said there, there, there's germs in it in it and I said what I said are you the super because she had that attitude I don't know it's my luck I guess I said never mind I'll keep it I'll knit or crochet for the homeless but I thought that was odd and I didn't say anything that we cannot return yarn so I always buy extra when I do my shopping just to let you guys know I was shocked so you cannot return yarn you cannot return anything you buy now that's their rule I think it's just the excuse so they don't have to pay back so what I did is because I was gonna look for another yarn do some exchange you know but anyways I didn't I was mad at her so I left it alone so I, I checked this I have this let me just move this because the camera keeps on focusing something else else than what I'm showing so I checked uh, my uh, stash and I found this so I have total of 12 balls of this yarn that I bought it was when I was in Penticton we lived there for seven years uh, three years and this was for seven dollars and 99 cents for regular price and it's made in Italy yay <laughs> you think automatically and it's 58 percent bamboo and uh, 34 percent viscose so another yay <laughs> I can wear this in the summer as well when it's hot and then eight percent linen so that's good that's the reason I must have bought it so for 7.99 it went to a dollar can you believe it a dollar isn't that a great deal unfortunately here in Edmonton they uh, local yarn shops they never make sales or I never see them okay so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start from uh, from the corner like a V and then we're gonna go up so please bear with me I am uh, doing this the first time with you guys as I'm going to uh, create this uh, design <laughs> and I hope you like it what is going on with this yarn anyways I'll just pull it from the outside because uh, so what I, what I'm gonna do is I just grab my three point let me try with the 3.5 and then if it's too big I can always change it because it does feel like it's a three weight it's pretty thick so what I'm going to do is I am going to do a magic loop chain three to go up so I'm going to make I do have tutorials uh, that I have did uh, the same so I'm just following that rule so this way I am going to make the border as I go and I don't have to worry 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 about anything so um, I did I did uh, three chain and then I did a double crochet so I'm gonna chain two and then I'm gonna make two double crochet Oh, 
Yeah, this yarn is kind of tough. Okay, I'm going to chain. Uh, so this would be the border and this would be the middle here. And then I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to do uh, two double crochet. So this, this side is going to be the other. Uh, should have weaved this. Well, I'll weave it later. Going to chain. Chain two. And then uh, I will do another two double crochet. Just like this. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So uh, this is how I do when I turn. I just automatically turn and I go right where the two chains are and I do a single crochet. Or you can do a slip stitch. Let's do a slip stitch because this yarn is pretty thick. And just like this. And I'm going to chain three. So the three would be a double crochet. And I'm going to repeat what I did. So two chain, so these two and then two chain and then two double crochet. So this is the border, just like this. So we are going to create the stitch, the strawberry stitch, the uh, whichever, you know, this is the back of the work, just to show you. So I am going to be making this when I hold it like this. This is how I'm going to create. So let's say this is, so I'm going to make a V and I'm just going to repeat what I did. It's so easy and sophisticated. I just love the stitch. I don't know if you guys started working on it. Oh my goodness. I just can't uh, put it away. It's, it's, I just love it. So I'm going to chain two as I did on the, on the blanket that I was, I'm working on. And I'm going to do a V. So one double crochet, three chain, and then uh, another double crochet, just like this. Two chain. So this way again, I'm doing the border. Yeah, that this yarn is pretty thick. I thought it would be a uh, lacy. I don't know. Suppose maybe it's going to be a shawl. I thought it would be like a scarlet. Okay. See. The, forget to pull this I forgot to pull it but I'll, I will weave that and uh, here's another trick uh, I would love to show it to you I'm just gonna grab a smaller uh, crochet hook I have here so what I'm going to do is uh, remember one of my tricks I showed that you can weave it and then you don't have to worry that it will unravel so here's another trick what you can do is you can just pull it like this weave it oh this is this is thin grab a bigger crochet <laughs> it's a sp spit and sp splitting okay let me so when you just a couple of layers of or what you can do is it's not going to work because there's too many layers here it keeps on sp splitting to me so what I will do is I'll just put it on a needle and then I will weave it just like this. Oh my goodness. I just, just wanted to show you, but yeah. Okay. Here we go. So just go between just like this and you weave it. Yeah. You got the drill I'm sure you did you pull it and it's breaking on me okay so you weave it and then you hide it I'll be just ba right back just to be on the safe side so what I safe side so what I did is I put the yarn on the needle and I'm going to make a knot just to secure it just in case because this yarn is pretty slippery and I will pull this and then I will secure it so when I tie it, nothing will happen. See? 
and then I will weave that okay so I weaved it that's all to it so I did my two double crochet two chain I'm doing the border and I'm gonna make two double crochet just like this okay so when I do the border I just do my slip stitch and I continue making two double crochet or three chain to go up or two chain and then two one double crochet two chain so this is the border we're going to keep on repeating this so uh, I'm not going to go over it several times and I do my two chain always so here we're going to create the strawberry stitch to do that I'm going to do total of the uh, 11 double crochets two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven going to do my two chain and then I'm going to do my border so I will let you do and I will come back to show you to do the front post okay so I finished and I'm starting the new row I forgot this is the back of the work so we're going to do back post when you're always working on the back post uh, the back side of the work is on uh, on this one it's going around and around but the back is like a back post so when you're doing the front it's a front post even on the sample um, the back and forth the flat that I did the tutorial I did front post on the front and on the back I did back posts just a reminder so uh, that's all we do so I'm going to do 11 back posts and I will when I finish it I will come back well, um, these couple of rows are just going to be back and forth. So we're going to crochet total of, uh, I will let you crochet because uh, we're going to crochet total of, uh, just to show you here. So we do one, two, three. We do same crocheting without doing anything. So when you come to the front, you do your front post. And when you do the back, you do your back post. But on the fourth, we create our V. So when I come to the fourth, I will show you how to do the increase. Okay, so I just finished the back post on the back side just before I wanted to show you. So uh, the front of the work would look like this. So when you come, you're going to do front post. I'll just show you if you don't know how to do back post. So you grab it from, from here. Just like this and then you do a double crochet okay and then the, the border is same as I said two chain two double crochet two chain two double crochet okay so uh, continue crocheting uh, the f another row and then when we come back we're gonna start our increase okay this is how it looks like from the wrong side and this is how it looks like from the back side doesn't this look nice? So we did a total of three rows. And now we're going to do our increase. To do our increase, the same as the blanket that I have showed. So I am going to do my um, two chain. Oops. One, two. And then here where the two chains are, I'm going to create a V. To create the V, as we did here, do a double crochet one two three chain and then make another double crochet okay now we're we did our uh, increase here so we're creating another strawberry we're going to make one here and one here okay from here what we're going to do is we're going to decrease so it's going to shape like a strawberry as same as uh, on here as we did so it when we after we do three rows we started to decrease so it becomes a hilltop and then that's when you know when you do your increases just to give you a hint and I do my two chain again 
end from the back pull. So I skip the first one. So I skip the first one. I go from back and I do a double crochet. Just like this. So we had 11. We should have total of uh, 9. I don't even count. <laughs> If it's one less, one extra, I, I, at the end I always fix it. So uh, don't worry about that. But at the beginning, just be sure to have 11. If you have 10, if you have 12, that's okay. We can always fix that at the end. We just pick the two stitches together and then we do our increase. And uh, you can always fix that problem. So don't frog it. <laughs> Never rip it, off, rip it and start all over again. I hate doing that. I did it several times and I still do it. But uh, just a hint. Okay, so I did my decrease. If you want me to count, I will. Two, four, six, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, so two chain and to make another increase so double crochet three chain and then uh, make another double crochet this yarn is very slippery because it has bamboo in it and then plus the viscose two chain again and then I'm going to make my border just like this so I will come back and I will show you and it's becoming nice okay so I have uh, started the new row I did my border and I am going to fill here 11 double crochets and I'm going to do my decrease and then so I do my two chain always do two chain after when you do your border and jump where the three chains are and make your total of 11 double crochets two three four five six Seven, eight, eight, eight slips, spits, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. The yarn does split. Yeah, unfortunately, but I think it's becoming nice. It is thick though. It is thick. Okay, so I'm going to do my two chain again. And then I'm going to do my front post. I'm going to skip the first one. And then I'm going to do my front post. I would highly recommend you to watch my other tutorials on the strawberry. I did a couple of uh, tutorials on different ways to, make, to create the stitch. And uh, I think I'm done. Well, I was going to do a card again, but I'm not quite sure. Because I would like to have a thin yarn. That's what I went to Walmart. So I can buy thin yarn there. Like lacy yarn. With cotton blend. But uh, the lady wouldn't do the exchange. I don't know. Like everyone's outside. They're walking shoulder to shoulder. On the aisle. In the aisles. And I, I tried to stay away. Oh my goodness. So I didn't even go back. Go into the aisles. I just went through and walked back. So no one was there. I didn't want to you know. Be involved with anyone. And uh, yeah. So I don't know. Two chain again and I'm going to do 11 double crochets. So I just need to find thin yarn in my stash. And uh, I think I have four balls that I bought from uh, Ice Yarn. And I will come back to do that tutorial. So please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat what I did here. I do 11 double crochets. And after two chain and you do the border. And then uh, what we do is we just repeat one after another. So when I will come back. And I will show you what to do on the next row. Just to repeat what we did here. It's becoming nice. Oh my goodness. This gives a 3D texture and it's, uh, it's pretty thick. Okay, so I finished that row and I'm coming back. So as you can see, the, this is the back of the work. So the... Uh, the strawberries are getting pointy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat what we did. So I did my first row. We're going to do back post. This is the back of the work. So we're, I'm going to do my back post. And then uh, do 11 double crochets. And then here I'm going to do my decrease again. Skip the one. Do back post. And then skip the last one. 
and then continue and we're on, when you're on the back uh, front of the work you just do the front post and you do your decrease and then when we come back we're going to start another strawberry okay, and then we're going to start doing our decrease here so I will come back after two rows to show you how it looks like it's super easy it's just to repeat what we're doing here and then we're doing our decrease okay I'll come back okay so I am here um, just wanted to show you because this yarn is pretty thick instead of having the three double crochets so what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to do a trick because I want this to be pointy okay so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm gonna do I'm not gonna pull the double crochet oh I did a double crochet it has to be a front post Okay, so I'm not pulling the two and I'm going to the next door. I'm not pulling and I'm going to the next door. So this way it will be, have a pointy, see, it will have a pointy uh, edge and this would look way better. You just, you just need to use your judgment. There's no rules. Just create your own and um, yeah, with my experience, I always try to figure out easy ways because the yarn is pretty thick with the lace yarn it would be no problem but this yeah this looks way better right what do you guys think <laughs> okay so I'm going to crochet and I'll meet you back and we're gonna start to do our increase this is how it looks like from the back so I am going to do my increase to do my increase I chain automatically to chain and I make a V as we did here. So I'm just repeating that row. And when I create my V on top, I will uh, make my strawberries. The next row would be 11 double crochet. So I do my chain and now I'm going to do my decrease. So I'm going to skip the first one and then I'm going to skip the last one. And I will crochet my nine double crochet and I'll be back. So from 11, I did my decrease to 9. I did my 2 chain. Now we're going to make a V here. So we're going to create, we're going to start making a, another strawberry stitch. So double crochet, 3 chain, double crochet. And then you do 2 chain and then you do your decrease. So I'm going to let you crochet. I'm going to do a couple of rows and I will come back to show you how it looks like. So it's just a repeat what we did. Nothing to it. And you do, don't forget your increase here when you're doing your decrease okay so I've been crocheting I finished the ball no wonder it went to a dollar because there were about 10 knots on one ball oh my goodness <laughs> okay this is the front of the work <laughs> and this is the I'm sorry that was the back of the work and this is the front and this is all you do you start increasing on here as soon as you do you finish your decrease and then you on top you make your V's so you create more strawberries and it becomes wider and then it becomes a beautiful shawl so I hope you like this tutorial I just had to share my idea I haven't written the pattern yet and uh, I'm not planning to <laughs> so uh, please share this tutorial and uh, share this joy with me it's gorgeous it's so fun to crochet and it's 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 elegant if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting